Okay, so just standing with your feet hip width apart in standing mountain pose. And just placing your hands around the sacral center. And just take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. And again, deep breath in. And exhale. And just start to soften through your arms. And we're just going to stand in standing mountain for a while. So we're just going to take our hands up nice and high to the sky, facing your palms together. So we're just balancing the right and the left, the masculine and the feminine. Nice deep breath, nice big stretch. And as you exhale, just reaching over to the right, and just releasing that arm down. And inhale, back up to the top. And exhale the other way. Wonderful. Inhale, reach. And exhale, clasping back behind you and opening through your chest. Just rolling the shoulders back and down. Wonderful. Soften through your knees and inhale, rise. And as you exhale this time, you're going to hinge forwards from your hips, tucking in the crown of the head. Just relaxing your shoulders and your jaw. Inhale, standing arch. So lengthen through your spine. Try and get as much length through your back as you possibly can so you're not round in the back. To do that, pushing your tailbone back as far as possible. And if it feels a bit tense here in the back of the hamstrings, just soften your knees off a little bit more there. From there, exhale, fold, tucking in the crown of the head. Stepping back into downward dog. Hips up and back and space between your shoulders and your ears. Gently floating forwards into plank. Coming down onto your knees, keeping your elbows in and exhale, lower to the ground. Inhale, lift your chest and roll your shoulders back and down. Deep breath in and exhale back into child pose. So keeping your knees on the ground and sit back into your heels, tucking the crown of the head down. Deep breath in and exhale, push back into downward dog. Bending your knees and stepping your feet back into the center. And again, inhale, standing arch, really lengthen, draw the shoulders back and exhale, fold. Soften your knees and inhale, rise. So we can do that again, but a little bit faster now. So deep breath in and exhale, hinging forward from your hips, tucking in the head. Inhale, hands to shins and lengthen. And as you exhale, just fold forwards deeper. Stepping back into downward dog. Wonderful. Slowly floating forwards into plank. Coming down onto your knees again. Exhale, lower to the ground. Inhale, lift and roll your shoulders into cobra. So try and keep your hips down on the ground as you do that. And exhale, push back into child pose. Sitting your hips all the way back. Take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale, push back into downward dog. Bending your knees and stepping your feet back into the center. Inhale, standing arch and exhale, fold. Soften your knees and inhale, rise all the way back up to standing. So we're gonna go down again as we exhale, but we're gonna add on this time. So tucking in the crown of the head, inhale, standing arch, lengthen through your spine, and exhale, fold. Stepping back into downward dog. Floating forwards into plank. So this time you can either keep your knees on or off the ground. You can exhale halfway and then inhale into up dog. So up dog is with your thighs and your hips off the ground. And see if you can turn the feet over to exhale back into downward dog. If you prefer to do cobra, you can. But from here, we're going to lift your right leg high in the air. Bend your knee and see if you can swing it all the way through. If you can't, drop your back knee and manually step that leg through. And once you're there, we're just going to come up, drop the back heel and rise up into warrior one. So warrior one, we're keeping the hips to the front, 
keeping the knee behind the toes and the back leg pushes out. So just take a nice deep breath through here. Staying strong with it. And slowly releasing the hands back down. You're gonna step your back foot in. Inhale, standing arch. And exhale, fold. Soften knees, inhale, rise all the way back up. And again, exhale to hinge forwards and down. Inhale, standing arch, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fold. Step back again into downward dog. Hips up and back. Floating forwards into plank. So it's important to make sure that those shoulders are directly over the wrists, either knees to the ground or off. As we exhale, lower, halfway. Inhale through into up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. And this time we take your left leg high in the air. Bend that knee and swing it through. Plant it down, dropping your back heel and rise. Wonderful. Nice deep breaths. Just relaxing your shoulders and your jaw. Just staying strong with it. You might find a little bit of a pull down here. So if it feels too intense, you can always step that foot a little bit wider. So just stay with what feels right for you. Deep breath in and exhale to fold back down. You're gonna step your back foot in. Inhale, standing arch. And exhale to fold. Soften your knees and inhale, rise. All the way back up to standing. Wonderful. Now very gently and slowly from there, we're gonna place your feet together. So big toes and heels together. Extend through your arms and sink down into intense pose. So intense pose, feet together. Try and keep your back nice and lifted. So try not to lower your chest down, keep it high and sit your heels back. So you wanna make sure you're not lifting off the heels and you should be able to wiggle your toes in that position. It's called intense pose for a reason. You will start to feel it working. So we're gonna still be working with our warrior one position, but we're gonna add on to it. So from this position, see if you can very gently and slowly step your right foot back, coming back into warrior one. So if you need to extend forward a little bit more than you can, nice deep breaths. Sinking down deeper into the legs, as deep as you can. See if you can get a 90 degree angle with the front leg. Take one more deep breath here and slowly releasing the hands back as you open through the chest, sinking down even further. Nice deep breaths. And how much can you bring your shoulders around to the front? So we're not sort of turning out to the side. See if you can bring the hips around to the front. Wonderful. Slowly and gently extend those arms back up. As we begin to hinge forwards now over that thigh. So just take a little breath there. Slowly releasing your fingertips down and have a go if you can lift your right leg up off the ground. Tuck in the head down and breathe. Now, if you are feeling more advanced, you can place your hands around your shin or calf. See how that goes for you today. <laughs> Not great for me, obviously. Try not to grip your toes. Gently release. Slowly stepping back into downward dog. And just shake the legs off a little way. Just releasing any tension there before you gently bend your knees, you can either step or jump yourself back into the center. And as we stand, we bring our feet together and come back into that intense pose. So you already feel that thigh is burning a little bit now. We're gonna try that all again on the other side. So drawing the belly button towards the spine, lift and extend, keeping the knees together as much as you can and checking that your 
big toes and heels are nice and aligned. Wonderful. And when you're ready, stepping that left foot back. Excellent. So keeping the back nice and tall, pushing, pushing the outside edge of the back foot away. Nice deep breaths. And again, trying to get that 90 degree angle with that front leg as much as possible, bringing the shoulders around. Nice deep breaths. Just staying strong with it and gently releasing the arms around the back. Open through your chest and sink down even deeper. So try and bring your shoulders around, pushing the shoulders and the hands down and away. And just breathing into that. Nice deep breaths. Yes, it will be burning, but the more we breathe, the more we can bring stamina into the muscle. Slowly and gently release and hinge forwards over that thigh. So nice length in the back leg, really strong in that front leg, and really drawing your belly button towards the spine to keep that strength there too. When you're ready, lift, extend, hinging forwards, bringing the hands down towards the ground, looking towards your thigh, and if you are feeling strong enough, just soften your right knee, placing your hands around the calf or the ankle, wherever you can. Nice deep breaths. And slowly and gently release. Step back into downward dog. Hips up and back. Space between your shoulders and your ears. And very gently from there, see if you can try this. So you can either come down onto your knees, I'll show you this way first, dropping your chest and your chin down to the ground with your hips up, and then we lower the hips and rise. Now if you'd like a more advanced version of that, we can come back into downward dog, and from there, see if you can drop your chest and your chin, and come up into up dog. So see which way suits you best. Exhale, pushing back into downward dog. Wonderful. Now very gently and slowly, see if you can lift your right leg high in the air, bend the knee and swing it through, and join me in warrior two. So I'm going to spin my mat around so that you can see what I'm doing. So our warrior two position looks like this. So my back heel is turned out, and the back toes are turned in, and my right leg is pointing towards that ball. Again, trying to keep that 90 degree angle as much as we can with the legs, and open through the arms. Now with the hips, I'm trying to keep my hips to the front as much as I can, but some of you might find, if you're new to this, that your hip doesn't quite wanna go that way. So just go to where you can, and watching this knee doesn't collapse in, so keep it as wide as you feel you can. Pushing through the outside edge and hold. Nice deep breaths. And once again, we're going to clasp the hands around the back, open and sink down just a little bit deeper. Breathing into it, trying to keep those hips around to the front. So that's going to help us to find that alignment, but you just need to check that your knee didn't follow you there. So just taking those checks, open through your chest. Nice, deep breaths. Fabulous. Now we're going to go a little bit deeper with this. So extending the arms back up, we're going to drop the elbow to the thigh, extend your left arm over and just try and drop your left hip down a little bit deeper. Now if that's enough for you, you can stay here. But if you'd like to go further, you can place your hand to the ground and drop your hip down just a little bit more. So stay with that if that's right for you. If your arm is hurting, you can place it around the back. So do again, if that feels right for your shoulder, then adopt that position. From there, very gently and slowly, we're gonna rise up. So use that thigh to push yourself back up. Bring your legs back to the centre. Have a nice big stretch. Reaching the arms up 
and then clasping back behind, open and breathe. And we're gonna swap over the legs. So turn in, the heel out on your right foot, and toes towards the left wall. And as you sink down, extend through your arms. So again, just try and bring those hips around and the knee nice and wide, open through your chest. And here, see if you can imagine breathing in and out through your solar plexus. This is the seat of your power, your confidence, of everything that makes you who you are, who you identify with in this world. So breathe in and out through there. Try and access your inner warrior. And allow yourself to sink a little bit deeper. Staying strong with the breath. Thinking about all those little adjustments that you can make to make this work for you, to make you stronger. I know it does hurt your arms, but once you get used to these poses, it won't hurt so much. We're going to clasp back behind and open through the chest. So again, try and roll that shoulder around and sink down deeper. Nice deep breaths. So just stay strong with it. Next time I record this, I'll make sure you can actually see my feet properly. Apologies for that. <laughs> I didn't set that up quite right this morning. And from there, slowly releasing the arms. We're going to place the elbow down, coming into extended warrior. So dropping that right hip and try and roll the shoulder back as much as you can. Nice deep breaths. And again, if it's too much on your shoulder, you can wrap that arm around. See if you can find the thigh on the other side. So just listening to your body, what feels right for you. And those that are up for the challenge, you can come down to the ground but make sure you drop that hip with you. It's no good being on the floor and your hips up here. You need it to be down. Otherwise, it's not, you're not ready for it. So choose what feels right for you. That's it. Take a little deep breath there. And then slowly and gently rising up. Push yourself back up. Extend. Deep breath in, and as you exhale, clasping those hands back behind you, opening through your chest. Wonderful. Now, from all of that work, I've got a little challenge for you. Now, some of you will be used to this. You're gonna need something in front of you just in case. We're gonna place our feet just past the shoulders, hands into a prayer position, and come down into a Hindi squat. So see if you can lower your hips down to the ground, keeping your heels down and not gripping your toes and try and lift through your chest. So nice deep breaths there. How does that feel? Now for some of you this might be absolutely ridiculously bad or for some it might just feel completely normal and easy. If this is too much for you today, you can come up just into a normal squat for me if that feels right for you. But try and challenge yourself to come down. Place the elbows first inside the thighs and then see if you can lower your hips down from that point. You might be surprised how much you can achieve with that. Now, cutting down on sugar in your diet can actually help you to improve your flexibility. So that's something to perhaps have a little look at in your own diet to help you with your yoga poses. Now, from here, we're going to place our hands down on the ground and walk your feet in. Now, your hands need to be spread out wide, flat down, and you need to make sure that you're pushing your knees into your triceps, into the backs of your arms. And when you're there, just have a go at lifting one foot, first of all. Hold that for a couple of breaths. And then try the other side and see how that is. Can you do it? Now, if you found that fairly easy, just sit back down, roll your wrists around, just press them out a little way. You might be ready to go for the full crow. So hands spread wide, have something in front of you in case you do face plant, although I know you're not gonna. Pushing your weight into your hands, 
and slowly and gently just tip forwards but lift your chin and see if you can lift both your feet up and bring your toes together in the center take a couple of deep breaths for as long as you can and then slowly lower back down and release those wrists did you do it did it feel okay I'll give you a moment to just practice a little bit further so if you did do it well done if you're still practicing don't worry all it takes is practice and confidence and the more you practice the more confident you get so have another little go if you would like a more advanced option you can try balancing on the backs of your arms rather than the soft piece and see how that is it does hurt a little bit though in the back of your arms so just make sure that you feel comfortable and when everybody's done with that i want you to very slowly and gently rise back up feet just hip width apart folding forwards tuck in the crown of the head and just place your hands around your calves bringing your nose towards your knees and just take a few deep breaths there just relaxing the back of your neck relax your jaw nice deep breaths wonderful hands to shins inhale lengthen and extend exhale fold soften your knees and inhale rise back up to standing wonderful now we're going to do a standing camel pose just placing your hands into your lower back feet and hip width apart you're going to take a deep breath in as you exhale just pressing your pelvis forwards you can place your hands a little bit higher up your back if you want to rolling the shoulders back and just breathe squeezing the buttocks so it's really important to make sure that your buttocks are engaged when you do this nice deep breaths slowly and gently release and relax we're just going to come down just into standing arch so lengthen through that spine draw the shoulders back and then exhale fold all the way down wonderful soften through your knees and slowly roll back up to standing okay i'm going to spin the mat back around for myself and i'm going to stand back a little way so that you can see where my arms are in this position so we're going to come into a basic tree pose so for this we need our hips hip width apart feet hip width apart make sure you haven't got one foot stood further back than the other make sure they're nice and level and even and we're going to have a go at coming into tree pose so for this you might need to just tap the toes down on the ground but try and make sure your hips are facing forward they're not turning towards the right side or you might be able to go a little bit higher up or you might be ready for a challenge and you can bring your leg all the way up so when you're in that position hips face the front and hands just into a prayer position so why do we do this when we're balancing so what this does is it will help to bridge together whoops your left and right hemispheres of your brain to bring about balance and from there, if you can find a spot somewhere on the ground or right in front of you to focus your attention, you're more likely to stay still. But there are so many factors that can affect our balance on a day to day basis. So my suggestion to you is just accept where you are today. Accept where you are and how it feels. And now we're going to add a little bit of a challenge because we're going to extend the arms you're going to pick up your right leg and hook it under the right hand but try and keep the hips nice and wide back nice and lengthened breathing into it softening your supporting knee 
You can either stay here, or you can have a go at extending that leg fully, or even you can have a go at holding the toe and extending that leg. So stay with what feels right for you today. Nice deep breaths. Slowly and gently release. Whoop, we're not quite done with that leg though. Bring it forwards. Arms come wide. Come into aeroplane. So we're going to take the leg back as you hinge forwards from your hips. Lengthening that leg. And if you need to, stay here. Or if you want to, you can bring the arms overhead into warrior three. So just breathe and hold there. Stay strong. And slowly and gently see if you can bring that leg back in. Step it down. Hands in the prayer position. Over your heart center. Wonderful. So just take a moment just to feel grounded again through your legs. Relax the shoulders and the jaw, and then find your tree on the other side. So either low, halfway, or all the way. Keeping the hips towards the front. Lengthen and extend. So it's all about how much we can appear more confident. So lifting the chest and rolling the shoulders. So if you haven't noticed, today is more about your solar plexus. It's about that strength, that power within you and awakening that to increase our confidence, but also to increase, oops, wobbling everywhere, increase your mental clarity. So that's what we're working on here today. Where are you mentally today? Are you able to stay focused in this space? Can we extend those arms up towards the ceiling? And slowly and gently extending the arms out. And when you're ready, lifting that leg up on the left side this time to where you can. So try to lengthen through your spine as you do this. Now one side might actually be harder than the other. So if this is enough for you, then stay here. Or if you feel you can, you can extend that leg out or have a little go, reach and extend, hold and breathe. Just staying strong with it. And then when you're ready, bringing the leg back down, arms spread wide. Left leg extends, hinging forwards from your hips. So you might want to soften your supporting knee in this position. And if you're strong enough today, you can bring the arms overhead, hinging forwards, chest parallel to the ground. Warrior three. Slowly and gently stepping that back leg in. Inhale, extend. And exhale, hands over heart centre. Wonderful. Well done. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hinging forward from your hips, tucking the crown of the head. Downward dog. Hips up and back. Float forwards into plank. Shoulders over wrists, exhale lower, inhale into cobra or up dog, exhale back into downward dog. And here we have a little bit of a trick for you, see if you can step or jump your legs through the hands and sit down on the ground. Let's see if that works for you today. So we're going to have a little look into working on our hips and for this pose it's called a half lotus so we're going to place your right leg down on the ground at a 90 degree angle and place your left leg on top you will need to lift yourself up and adjust your sit bones so that you are sat right up you might find this leg is slightly lifted if your hips and your buttocks are a bit tense at the moment that can also be part of what time of day it is. So if it's an evening, 
you probably find that your leg will fall more gracefully. Whereas in the morning, it's going to be a little bit more stiff. But once your body's nice and warm, which we are now from the work that we've just done, then that should be okay. Now, if you've struggled with that, you can place the leg down and in front of you if you prefer. But I would recommend that you try, even if your leg's sticking up here, to place yourself into this position. We're gonna have our hands just on top of the knees. Lengthen through your spine. So again, we wanna breathe in and out through the solar plexus. You might wanna visualize a beautiful yellow color. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, I want you to just press down into your knees. So try that again, deep breath in. And exhale, press down. Wonderful, just a couple more like this. Deep breath in. And exhale. So keep trying that if you can. If you'd like to go further with this, then you can actually extend your arms forwards, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, press the elbows down into the thighs. So again, and exhale. Wonderful, just a few more like this. Exhale. Try and relax the shoulders and the jaw as you go. And just keep trying to walk a little bit further each time. Can you go any further? Now don't worry if you're watching this and you're still up here somewhere and you're really struggling with that, stay here. Please don't force it. Just stay with what feels right for you and I promise you, over time, you will bring yourself a lot lower. Trust me. Take one last deep breath and then slowly bring yourself back up to sitting. You're going to place the right hand down and extend your left arm over the top. And just try and roll that shoulder back, just breathing into it. Fabulous. Slowly and gently release. Lift and lengthen through your spine, just sitting back into your hands and opening your heart centre. Good. And then slowly from there, we're going to take your left leg, place it down, and bring your right leg underneath more, placing the left leg over the top. And just sit down on that right heel. Lift through your chest. Placing your left hand around the back and exhale, looking over your shoulder. So let's take a few deep breaths there. Bringing that twist. Nice deep breaths. Slowly and gently coming back round to centre. Extend your legs and we're going to swap over. So this time place your left leg down on the ground, flexing the foot, and place your right foot on top. Just sitting up nice and tall, length through your spine. And again, exhale. Just gently pressing down. Keep having a go at that and just see where do your sit bones feel at this point. If it doesn't feel quite right, then just adjust yourself a little bit more. And again, deep breath in. And exhale. Tipping the chin down to lengthen the back of your neck. And if you feel ready for it, you can extend a little bit further forward if it's for you today. Deep breath in and exhale. Press down. So when we're in this position, we want to make sure we're pushing your tailbone back and coming forward from the hips, not arching through your back. 
So more pressing forwards and down. So take a deep breath in again. And exhale. And just notice the subtle movements of your body. What changes here? And what can you do to make yourself more comfortable? What can you do to challenge yourself more without hurting yourself? So just listen to your body. But you might want to push a little bit further if it's starting to feel easier than the last time. So deep breath in. And exhale. You might find this really uncomfortable. You might even find some emotion coming up from the buttocks, and from the legs, from the hips. If you do, just breathe through it. If you need to release anything, just release it. Just let it out. You don't need to find out what it is. Just know that it's stagnant energy and you're releasing it right now to create that space for what you do need. Relaxing the shoulders and the jaw. Very gently and slowly, walking yourself back up. You're going to place your left hand down and extend that right arm over the top. Just breathing into that nice stretch. Try and roll the shoulder back, remember. Slowly coming back to centre. Hands back behind you and open through the chest. Fantastic. And from there, bringing your right leg in front, take your left leg further underneath and sit your right foot on the ground. So again, you might want to use that heel to just prop yourself up. Placing your right hand back behind you, lift through your chest and exhale, look over the shoulder. So this is more important to make sure that your back is nice and lifted and not rounded. So keep that back nice and lifted and just tuck the chin down, lengthening the back of the neck there. Just taking it to where you comfortably can. Slowly and gently release. And coming back through to centre. Now from here, see if you can bring your heels together. Lift your chest and exhale, bringing your nose down towards your feet. Try and draw the shoulders back and down. And breathe. Wonderful. Slowly bring yourself up. A little exercise for you for a moment. Extending through your arms and just lifting your feet up off the ground. Just working into the abdominals, into the core region. See if you can extend those arms, uh, sorry, legs up and lengthen through your chest. And just hold that position. Now if that's too much for you today, you can just bring the feet down towards the ground. Or if you need to hold on, then hold on and lengthen just a little bit more. Let's see if you can challenge yourself. Hold and breathe. Lengthen and extend. And then placing your hands into a prayer position. See if you can twist towards me without moving your legs. Deep breath into the centre. And exhale the other way. Good. Deep breath into the centre, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Slowly come back through to centre, or extend, and gently release those legs back down. Well done. Okay, we're going to gently lower down to the ground, so one vertebra at a time, really slow and controlled. 
Bring your legs in. And just draw those knees in towards the chest for now. Rocking around. Loosening up any tension in your lower back. Nice and strong. So we're going to prepare for a couple of classic yoga poses next. Now if you're not sure about these ones, there are alternatives. One of the alternatives is bringing your legs up against the wall and staying in this position. So you will gain one of the benefits of doing the plough and shoulder stand from doing that position. So if that's what you choose, then go and find a bit of wall now to do that. However, if you'd like to have a go at the plough and shoulder stand, then here's how we're going to do it. So with your legs bent, you need to catch yourself with your hands, extend the legs back behind you, and just keep pushing your hands up your back and see if you can land your feet on the ground back behind you. Now it might take you a little while to find that position, you might want to put a chair behind you to balance your feet onto if you can't quite reach the floor. But you need to bring yourself into a position where you can feel okay. See the backs of the legs, you might find feel a bit tense in this position. But once you're there, can you extend those arms back behind you? Can you breathe in this position? Nice deep breaths. I'm saying nice deep breaths because it's actually quite difficult to breathe in this position. So see what you can do right now. But from here, place your hands around your back and see if you can extend your legs up towards the ceiling. So as you do, you need to walk your hands even higher and lift your legs. And just try and balance out, bring your body nice and straight. Now this has a massaging effect on your internal organs. So it can help your body. You might find that you need the toilet quite soon after this session. So have a go at drinking plenty of water today to help your body flush it out. So from here, we're gently and slowly going to come back down into the plough. Hands down by the side of you. And very gently and slowly, bring your body back down one vertebra at a time, engaging through your core. All the way there. Well done. Okay. From here, we're going to come into the fish. So the fish is with your legs extended. You're going to sit on your hands and see if you can lift yourself up onto your elbows and then tuck the crown of your head back down onto the ground. So it elevates your chest and your ribs and allows you to breathe deeply. And with your feet, you're just pointing your toes away. So if I show you from this direction, you're pointing your toes away from yourself as you lift that chest. So have a little go with that. See how that feels for you. It's a good heart opening one as well. So the more you can lift that chest, imagine breathing through the heart center. It takes a lot of pressure off your lower back as well. And then slowly and gently from there, just release yourself back down, bring your legs in. We're going to spread the arms wide, drop your knees to the right and your head to the left. And just breathing all along each vertebrae of your spine. Inhale, bringing your knees back through to centre, and exhale the other way. Mm. 
Wonderful. And gently coming back through to centre. And see if you can take your legs wide, bending your elbows, extend them overhead. And just trying to see where your pelvis sits on the ground. Does one buttock feel more tense than the other, or do they feel fairly evenly distributed? So just breathing into that space right now. Just relax. We're coming to the end of your practice now. Ready for Shavasana. Very gently bringing your legs back in. We're going to take hold of one leg with both hands. Extend the other leg. Rock backwards and forwards and come up to sitting. And here, just placing your feet extended. Ashmatasana, lengthen and extend and exhale. Hinge forwards and down to where you can. Tucking the crown of the head down. So don't worry if you're nowhere near your feet. If this is enough for you just here, as long as you're feeling that stretch along the backs of the legs. If it's feeling quite intense in your lower back, then you need to come back up a little bit more. Try and keep the length through your spine. And every time you hinge forward, you're hinging from your hips, not from your lower back. So stay with what feels right for you today. Relax the shoulders and the jaw. And just tip the crown of the head down towards the toes. Taking a few deep breaths. You can spend as much time as you like in this pose, just really feeling for it. But when you do feel ready, you can slowly release from there and begin to lie down. So if you need to, bend your knees so it's a little bit easier on your back to come down onto your mat. You can either keep your legs completely straight or you can bend your knees. But now is just a time to just relax. And following this video, there will be a meditation. So look out for that. It is a separate to this actual video. Um, but please do let me know how you felt about this video, how you found it. Perhaps practice it several times and see how it makes you feel. Um, and I will record another one for you next week. Namaste.